person presentation and the Q and A, uh, and then if the student need any one to one counseling, so that could be possible. So I'll hand it over to you, so you can start with the with the event. Thank you. Thank you, Shayas, and welcome everyone. Uh, I'll go through a quick presentation, as Shayas said, and then you're welcome to ask uh, as many questions as you want. Uh, so this presentation. Uh, some of you may have not heard uh, of the city of Adelaide in Australia. So this map shows you um, how close Adelaide to the rest of the world. Some students are based offshore in, uh, could be in uh, Dubai or Delhi or uh, Pakistan or Bangladesh. So that, that shows you uh, how close Adelaide uh, if you are based offshore. Uh, some quick facts about Adelaide. Uh, so we are the capital of South Australia which is the fifth largest Australian uh, and the fifth largest Australian capital city. Uh, population wise, we are 1.67 uh, million. So we are considered a regional state and I will come, come back to this point shortly. Uh, so with low population, we are one of the cleanest and most safe uh, cities in, the, in Australia compared to the bigger city like Brisbane, and Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, this makes us also the most uh, livable and the most affordable in Australia. So considering the cost of living again, uh, compared to the bigger cities, we become as number one, most affordable and most livable. And you can see here, this is uh, uh, testified by the, uh, the Economist uh, uh, Global Livability Report in 2017, and QS uh, Best Student Cities in 2017. So they all have been reviewed by a uh, third party. Climate-wise, uh, the, the climate in Adelaide is Mediterranean, so it's uh, uh, it's warm in summer and uh, cool to cold in winter. So it's, it's always uh, mild, not too hot and not too cold. Uh, time zone: we are 9.5 uh, hours uh, plus uh, GMT, and you can see in the picture Adelaide is uh, is a very vibrant city with many events and festivals and uh, if you are a fan of cricket you can you know you can Adelaide is your destination for sure so as I said yeah we are in the top 10 most livable cities globally and uh, the most affordable city in Australia and you can see here on the right side uh, the average weekly uh, cost of living whether it's accommodation or public transportation or food, utilities, uh, clothes, depending on your lifestyle. And you can you can do this comparison with other uh, states in Australia to see uh, the difference in cost and you know the money you save by just living in Adelaide. Another great advantage uh, of Adelaide that we are a regional, uh, regional city. And that means you get an extra year of post-study work right or some or the graduate visa. So this allow, allows you to work full time after graduation for three instead of two years, which is uh, in the bigger state. This also gives you uh, extra points if you are considering migration. So by studying and living in a regional city, you, you already gain extra points. So it gives you an advantage later on. Um, due to COVID-19, uh, we had to to adapt and we, we, we deliver most of our programs onshore uh, in the campus if you are in Australia. Uh, we also give opportunity to students offshore to study online. Uh, and once the, the, the government decides to open the borders, you can come to Australia and continue your degree and you still benefit from the post-study work rights. So you can start with as little as one or two topics online and when and then you can come to Australia and continue your degree. Uh, these are some uh, facts about Adelaide. So we have 26,000 Australian, uh, 26,000 uh, students, 5,400 of them are uh, international students from 90 different countries. So the, this gives you the diversity uh, and the, uh, you know the international experience that you benefit from when you when you go to the job market. So in the classroom, you you know you get to see students from Australia, from uh, Europe, from Canada, from Latin America, from different parts of the world. It's a good opportunity to network and uh, get gain this international experience. 
uh, we are number one in South Australia for uh, overall experience. And, uh, and another in uh, the Good Universities Guide in 2020, we were number one in South Australia for teaching quality, learning engagement and student support. Uh, and you can see, uh, like the International Student Award of the Year for South Australia was, uh, we had a student from Flinders in 2016 and 2018 and 19, which is uh, like testifies the quality of our teaching and learning at Flinders. So uh, in this uh, competition, uh, international students from uh, the universities within the state, uh, they compete and they choose the student of the year. And, that, and always a student from Flinders is included in this award. We are also uh, in the top 300 universities globally, due, uh, according to the Times Higher Education. And we have 100,000 alumni in 120 countries. So our degrees uh, are accredited globally, not just in Australia. Uh, this map shows you uh, where, we, where we are based in Adelaide. So we are based in the south of Adelaide, about 20 minutes from the city. And we have three campuses. So we have, uh, as you see on the left, Bedford Park Campus, which is the main one uh, where most of the programs are taught. And then we have Tonsley Campus, uh, which is uh, allocated for engineering, science, uh, IT, and mathematics. So it's a science hub with uh, laboratories and state-of-the-art facilities. Uh, and then we have Victoria Square campus uh, in the CBD, in the, in the downtown of Adelaide, for students who are doing uh, postgraduate studies in business and accounting. Flinders is also uh, the only university in the state with on-campus accommodation, uh, with different accommodation styles, you know, we have uh, the hall, which is uh, which is a room for single students, or we have the village, which is uh, like units or flats uh, for students with families. And the availability of this uh, uh, accommodation is uh, by first in first served. So, uh, if you accept, if you apply and accept your offer early, you can find a place in the on-campus accommodation. Uh, if not, there is plenty of options uh, around the campus as well, depending on your preference and your budget. I'll talk to, quickly about uh, our, six, our six colleges that are covering our programs. So we have a wide range of programs in the undergraduate and postgraduate and research level. I'll go through them quickly. Uh, so we have uh, our nursing program. In the undergraduate level, we have a uh, Bachelor of Nursing pre-registration for students who completed high school, and the Bachelor of Nursing graduate entry for students with a bachelor degree uh, in other areas uh, than nursing. So you might have done your uh, a bachelor degree, for example, in health science, and you want to study nursing. So you can go to the graduate entry and get the bachelor in two years only. Uh, all our undergraduate degrees are uh, uh, lead to registration uh, with, with the nursing board of South Australia. And you can, if you are based offshore, we are one of the few universities that uh, allow you to start your program online as well. And then at the postgraduate level, um, we have Master of Nursing, uh, one and a half year program in acute care nursing. Uh, we have Master of Midwifery, Master of Nursing coursework and research a Master of Nursing Primary Healthcare. One of, one of our popular program as well is a Master of Public Health. Uh, Flinders was in the top 150 uh, globally, uh, according to the uh, World University Ranking in 2018. And then I will move to engineering. So we receive, Flinders received, according to the Good University Guide 2019, Flinders received five star rating in engineering and technology for learning resources, skills development, student support, and teaching quality. Uh, all our bachelor and master of engineering courses are accredited by Engineers Australia, which means uh, you have the accreditation uh, to apply for jobs in Australia and out, uh, like out of Australia once you finish your degree. You don't need to study anything further because the degree already prepares you uh, to be accredited. 
The same applies for our uh, IT programs in computer science and, and information technology and uh, IT and cybersecurity. They all accredited by the Australian Computer Society at a professional level and uh, recognized internationally by the SOL Accord. So you have an accredited degree. Uh, you just, as soon as you finish your degree, you have the accreditation to start working in Australia without further study or further training because the degree is comprehensive and covered all the areas you need for the job market. We also introduced a new specialization in uh, digital health systems, uh, simulation and serious games, games, and artificial intelligence. We, one of our popular program is uh, education. So we have the Bachelor and Master of Education. Um, Master of Education is usually for um, students with the background in education. Uh, and it, it gives more insight into management and policy making in the education field. Uh, Master of Teaching uh, is more for students who don't have a background in uh, education or teaching. And it prepares you to be, uh, to be like a registered teacher in the classroom. So it gives you the skills you need to be a registered teacher, even if you come from a different background. And we have a specialization in early childhood, in, uh, primary, secondary, and special education. Another popular program is uh, social work. So our bachelor and master of social work, uh, they lead to registration with the Australian uh, social, uh, social Work Association. So they all accredited in Australia, and they all include the placement as part of the degree. Business, uh, uh, the business college in, uh, in Flinders came number one in South Australia in accounting and economics for uh, overall experience and teaching quality. Uh, there is a lot of business schools around Australia and in different in different destinations. The great thing about uh, business degree at Flinders is uh, the small class sizes. Uh, you have the mentor program from first year, so you have uh, you know you have a mentor working with this with you to develop your skills and uh, find an opportunity or placement uh, that suits your needs. So there is this personal level uh, of interaction with your mentor and with your professor. Uh, unlike other schools where you know you are in a big classroom and the professor doesn't know you, but you get this personalized experience and some mentor uh, working with you. Uh, there is guaranteed work placement or industry project topics in the undergraduate and postgraduate uh, uh, degrees in business. Um, we have 149 industry partners. Uh, so we have cooperation with, with partners in different industries where we send our students to get training. And uh, we had the statistics, one in every three students receive a job offer after this industry placement. So. It's a great opportunity for students to show their skills, and uh, it's for employers as well to get to get a sense of uh, the student performance. And like, as soon as they find the student performing well, uh, a lot of a lot of our trainees receive uh, a full job offer afterwards. And then we have a wide range of uh, arts and law programs. So we have. Creative arts, uh, which includes uh, drama and screen uh, at the bachelor and master level. Uh, we also have law and archaeology and innovation and enterprise degrees. So, and uh, this can be used as a pathway to the master of teaching. I will move to our uh, Go Beyond Scholarship for 2021 which is up to 50% for top performing students. Uh, so the Go Beyond Scholarship is introduced for semester one in March and semester two in July 2021. Uh, I will go through the different categories of the scholarship. So at the undergraduate level, we have this global scholarship for to, uh, which covers 20% and we have excellence scholarship, which covers 25% of tuition fees. And then we have the Vice Chancellor uh, Undergraduate Scholarship, which covers 50%. Uh, 
uh, you can see on the right side in the requirements uh, for ATAR 70 points or more, you qualify for the 20% scholarship. For ATAR 80 or more, you qualify for the 25%. And then ATAR 95, you benefit from the 50% uh, scholarship. Some of you may have done high schooling in a different country, in different uh, education system. So you don't need to worry to convert to the ATAR, the Australian system. All you need to do is to submit an application with our partner, Blue Sky, and the admission team will convert your grade and determine uh, your eligibility for the scholarship. So some students may have done a level uh, IB, uh, central board. You don't need to worry, just apply. Uh, so you don't need to apply separately for the scholarship. You just apply for the program and our uh, admission team will convert your grade to the Australian ATAR. At the postgraduate level, we have 20% scholarship and 50%. Uh, to benefit from the 20% scholarship, you need to have a GPA of five out of seven or above. Um, and for the 50% scholarship, you need to have 6.5 out of seven. So that's for exceptionally uh, top performing students. Uh, in, in some countries, the, G, the GPA is out of four. Uh, at Flanders, our GPA is out of seven. So again, uh, don't worry about converting. Uh, our admission team will calculate your GPA once you submit your application and they will go through the transcript. And if you are eligible for a scholarship, you will receive an offer of admission and include uh, the scholarship with it. Some programs are not included in this scholarship, uh, mainly because of the limited quota. Uh, so we can't Unfortunately, the university cannot offer scholarship with these programs. Uh, this include medicine, uh, optometry, nursing, uh, audiology, uh, clinical psychology, physiotherapy, uh, social work, and speech pathology. So there is different ways uh, to meet the university English language uh, requirements. Uh, one of them, if you uh, completed your degree at the tertiary level uh, in, an, in a country where English is the first language, you meet the English condition for uh, IELTS up to 6.5. Uh, we also extended the validity of IELTS uh, exams from two to three years uh, due to COVID-19 and some, some uh, English test center closing. So in the past, uh, we only accepted two years validity for IELTS, but this year, it's up to the validity is up to three years. We also now accept OET, occupational English test, for some uh, health related programs. And we also introduced uh, Duolingo, which you can uh, have it at the comfort of your home anytime. So that's also accredited for, uh, for most of our program except nursing. Uh, some students may have difficulty meeting uh, English requirements through a test. So uh, you can study an English pathway program uh, as a package with Flinders program in one of these uh, of our uh, partners in this slide, which you can see here. And I would encourage you to visit our website to read about the program and uh, the course structure and the modules that you are going to study. Uh, so you can find the link here, it's very easy to browse. And you can also follow our uh, YouTube channels for update and a virtual tour and um, more information about the university and the different programs. And we would highly encourage you to apply uh, through Blue Sky. Uh, so once you load your application, uh, you receive an offer uh, and uh, once you accept the offer or pay your tuition fee, you get SUE and you can apply for a student visa. So this is the end of my presentation. Uh, thank you for listening and feel free to ask any questions. Thank you, Kamil. Thanks for the presentation. And it was wonderful having some new information, which uh, even myself was not updated. <laughs> so it's good to have this kind of presentation and it was great. 
and uh, we now open for all the uh, participants if they have any questions even on our facebook and our youtube if they have any question they can also put the comment there online and also anyone they can put their question in a chat section or they can put in a q a so now q a is open for everyone so they can put their question and uh, kamil thanks uh, for the wonderful information and uh, the i would like to add something that you also mentioned it that uh, south australia is uh, is uh, one of the uh, state is uh, the welcome the international student and they are very active in welcoming the student and there's a lot of opportunity in itself in the states and a student also have a benefit for getting the extra post study work visa which is the one year extra work visa the once they uh, after getting the two years of post study visa they can have the extension and if they studying the master by research or the phd they have to get the another uh, two years extra visa and also uh, the by studying uh, the student in the flinda university they get benefit extra 5 point for studying regional university and as well as uh, when they apply for the if they change their mind future that is a fact it's not a promotion for the uh, pr or anything but it's a fact that uh, once they finish the studying uh, at late they have the opportunity if they uh, want to be apply for the 491 visa so a state give the exemption gave lot of benefit in a plan of flexibility for their graduate who have study in adelaide for their uh, for their own state so there is a huge opportunity for the students and uh, number of student they uh, plan to move to uh, from sydney and melbourne to adelaide so getting the benefit this uh, city is very beautiful and uh, highly uh, uh, a uh, structured city so that students which are like it i personally like the city as well i've been there many times and so we open for everyone if they have any question they can put through in the q and a or in a chat section and uh, kamil uh, i have a one question actually you have also talk about okay. the graduate certificate in the social work slide if you uh, uh, that certificate so for though for which student that certificate is available uh so th um to comply with the requirements of the social work association uh yes. the student must have 36 unit approximately yes. one year uh, in a social science area and so this social science area includes uh, can be up to law uh, business public health so yes. students who don't have 36 units of social sciences yes. uh they can do the graduate diploma uh graduate, sorry, certificate. graduate certificate Yeah, so the schedule certificate sciences. can be done by from the any discipline. Exactly, yeah. So if if they don't have this uh, social science component in their degree, they will be yes. required to do the graduate certificate in. So it's science. a one semester graduate certificate. It's less than one semester, it's approximately uh 14. Yeah, it's about 14 weeks. 14 well, weeks. So because think weeks. that uh, we had one application and i was waiting for this graduate certificate to be come through for the master of social work so i think i have wrote yep. to mark as well so i will uh, follow up with him so i think that student can definitely meet that requirement graduate certificate leading to the master of social work so that's very good news so yeah. that's one of the However, current uh, application is yeah that was in yeah. november so we couldn't accept in that time so we were waiting when it's coming up so that we come so it's really good Yeah, the only thing is this graduate certificate will be relaunched uh, around uh, March or April. So, okay. so yeah. can we accept but the application student, at the moment? No, not at this stage. But this, they they can apply and be uh, on the waiting list until this course uh, reopens again. Okay, because he already applied. This applicant or she already applied, so she is waiting for it. Yeah. So yeah, we will have to put on hold at this stage, uh, okay. due to some, you know, some accreditation of the program, okay. and then it will it will be available again. Okay, that's good. Yep, yep, that's good. There's a question from Sara. Uh, hi, Sara. How can we see? 